absolutely adorable smash cake for a little boy turning one years old. It's going to have little cutout cars and some little traffic signs and we're even going to make a little road on our cake board too. It's going to be so cute and so much fun. So let's get into it. So for today's cake I baked up three six inch vanilla cake layers and I've added some rainbow sprinkles to make this cake extra fun. So we're going to begin by leveling out these layers so our cake stacks nice and tall and straight. So I'm going to be using a cake leveler today and I'm just going to trim these down then we can stack and fill our layers. So to fill in ice my cake today, I'm going to be using my go-to American buttercream. And I can drop that recipe in the comment section if you guys are interested, just let me know. So we're going to be coloring it a nice light blue today. So I'm just going to use a couple of drops of my Americolor Sky Blue. Okay. And we're going to mix that thoroughly. Once you have it all mixed up, then you can proceed to fill your layers. So typically at this point, I like to trim off all my caramelization, so when you cut into your cake, you end up with a beautiful slice. But today's cake is a smash cake, and it's going to have a fairly heavy fondant topper, and I don't want to add any supports that could potentially hurt a child. So I'm going to leave my caramelization on today, and that's going to give my cake a little extra support in holding up the topper. So we're just going to go ahead and start our crumb coat, then I'm going to pop our cake in the fridge to chill for about 20 minutes before we start our final coat. And in the meantime, we're going to work on some adorable little decorations. So for my decorations, I wanted to keep things really simple and really fun. So as you can see, I mixed up a bunch of fondant colors, and we're just going to roll this out fairly thin and freehand some of our shapes. I'm going to make some clouds and some traffic signs and a couple other things too. And I'm also going to use this little stencil to make my cars. So I get them all to be roughly the same size, and I'm going to finish them off with these little piping tips as circle cutters for the tires and the windows. All right, so we're done our decorations, and I think they turned out great. I love them, they're so cute. What do you guys think? Thumbs up if you like them, and let me know down below. So we're gonna set these to the side to dry now, and we're gonna grab our cake and give it its final coat of icing. So for my final coat, I'm gonna be using a small offset spatula to spread a nice even layer of buttercream all over my cake. Then I'm gonna smooth it all out with my plastic smoother. And while my buttercream is still wet, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of green fondant, roll it out in a nice long strip, and we're gonna cut out some little rolling hills to go all around the cake.
Okay, so we got our icing nice and smooth, and now we have some little rolling hills. So next, we're gonna work on our cake board. So I'm gonna roll out some gray and some yellow fondant, and we're gonna make this cake board look like a little road. It's gonna be so cute. All right, we're almost done, and that means it's my favorite part. Time to add all the finishing touches and bring this cake to life. So I'm gonna add all my little cars, clouds, and traffic signs, and then we're gonna top it off with these cute little birthday balloons. And this little boy and a toy car cake topper that I made last night to save some time. Thank you. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. And ta -da, here it is guys, what do you think? I absolutely love it and I think it turned out great. I am so proud of it. And that little cake topper, I think it's just the perfect finishing touch to this cake. I know I didn't make them on camera, but he did only take a couple hours to make and he was actually really simple. And I really hope you guys all think he looks great too. If you do, you know what you do.